Hey guys, welcome back to Wrestling World. For nearly a year now, Becky Lynch has been going by the nickname of The Man. This persona of Becky Lynch has become her most popular gimmick in all of her time with WWE. WWE quickly capitalized on all of the hype and made so much merchandise that had The Man printed on it. Famous music artist Taylor Swift recently released a song titled The Man. The song shares the exact same thoughts and ideas that Becky Lynch had when she explained the story behind the nickname. Becky had this to say a while back when explaining the name. When we look at different sports, we look at this in the industry here, any industry, you need a top person, the person of exceptional ability who is usually referred to as the man. They're the man, and up until now, the man has usually been a man. Becky also shouted out the song and responded to it on Twitter by saying this. But here's where the story takes a scary turn. Ric Flair responded to Becky and had this to say. According to reports, Ric Flair is not joking around about this. Flair has put in a request to trademark the term, The Man. The trademark file claims that it's for the following. For entertainment services, namely wrestling exhibitions, live appearances, and performances by a professional wrestler and entertainer rendered live and through broadcast media, namely television and radio. The trademark also claims that clothing, headgear, and footwear are also included. Rick hasn't been granted the trademark just yet, but if it goes through, this means he will get a cut and be in control of any merchandise that uses the term, The Man. Ric Flair has only used the term The Man in his iconic line of To be the man, you gotta beat the man. Rick was obviously referring to himself as the man there in that famous line, but this has really upset some fans. Rick has never really used the term as much as Becky has, so many think it's a dirty move by the Hall of Famer. If granted the trademark, you can definitely expect WWE to go to battle with Flair over this situation. Him getting a hold of this trademark would put a major hold on everything that WWE wants to do in terms of Becky Lynch merchandise and promotion. Becky responded to Flair and the reports of the trademark situation by saying this on Twitter as well. So it looks like Ric Flair wants to put an end to all of these stars using the name that he believes belongs to him. What are your thoughts on this entire situation? Do you think it's fair for Ric Flair to file for this trademark? Leave your comments, don't forget to subscribe, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you in the next one.